In this video, we'll see how to create a new user, assign some licenses and assign some roles in the company. Now, to create a user, you have to be an admin of the Jazz. Okay, so once you have the Jazz admin, you can create a user here. So, if you remember in the previous video, we have created a user and created an admin with the name as admin in the small case. So now, I'll put this URL as JTS slash admin and I'll put the username password as admin here. Once you log in, you'll get this kind of page that is server administration. So if you remember now in the setup server, after setup server, you have this option as create users. So once you click on this create users, so it will ask you the details about the user. What is the name of the user, email address, user ID and the photograph itself. So right now I'll type the username as Pavan L. I'll type my name Pavan L, a short form here. And same I'll put as user ID Pavan L and email address as Pavan at gmail.com. Okay, so Pavan L I've put Pavan L and Pavan at gmail.com. If you have a photograph, you can just browse that photograph and you can use it. Okay, so after that, on the right hand side, if you see what kind of repository permissions you want, do you want this person to be a project admin? So select this as project admin. In one uh, ad, Jazz admin, there can be multiple projects. So do you want to make the ad, do you want to make him the entire admin? So you select this Jazz admin. So right now I'll select both of them, Jazz Project Admin and I'll select as Jazz Admin. Similarly, there are two uh, more permissions given as Jazz Guest and Jazz Users. They have less permissions. They are they have only read-only users permission itself. They can modify, delete and so on. For the guest, there are very limited permissions given. But for users, you can just do some stuff itself. Similarly, if you see the client access licenses, there are different license access given here. I have downloaded a trial version and used it. So with trial version, you get 10 license version, 10 license accesses. So if you see here, rational dose, next generation, analyst role, rational dose, next generation, contributor role. So if you see here, if I select this option as the analyst role, I can create different projects. I can assign some users to the project, create team hierarchies and so on. Whereas contributor will have the less access. So right now, if I select one, it says out of 10, one is selected and total nine are available, nine license are available. So depending upon your uh, role, you can select the license available. Okay. So once you have done that, you can just click on this save button. Okay. So once you save, you see there's an option given as save in progress, user created successfully. Similarly, you can keep on creating multiple users. And finally, if you want to see all the active users, you can just go to this user pane and you see there are some active users. So if I click on this active users, these are all the users which are active now. I have created only one user, but when I uh, installed this, there were some default users which were created. So I'll try to search my name here. Yeah. So here if you see, here if you see there's Pavan L and the user ID is Pavan L and the same is Pavan at gmail.com. So this is the active users which are created now, right? So I hope similarly we'll keep on creating multiple users. So I hope you have understood how to create a user, assign the permissions and assign the license access. That's all for this video.